Growing up, I was one of the shyest and most socially awkward people you'd ever meet. I didn't know how to hold eye contact. I didn't know how to hold a conversation. But today, I can do a lot. I am currently very social and exposed. Being charismatic and socially adept is not a skill you are born with. It's not genetic. It's not something you are cursed with. It's a skill. And if you're willing to take the time to develop it, it's a skill that can and will change your life in every appreciable way. Being attractive doesn't have a lot to do with your physical appearance. According to Bustle, when we think of making ourselves more attractive, we usually think about changing our hair or putting on makeup. But it turns out how others view you is affected by much more than your physical appearance. In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 habits that make you more attractive and get people to like you. If you're new here, I'm sure to benefit you so much if you subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this one. Here are some few tips to improve your social skills and become a social powerhouse. 1. Surprise people. Don't tell them. I remember my heart jumped when I got a beautiful bouquet of flowers one random day at work. But not because it was from my boyfriend or a secret admirer but as a surprise. I soon discovered that it was my close friend who had sent me an unexpected gift. Just because he knew how depressed I felt after realizing my ex no longer cared about me. It wasn't the gift alone that made my whole week brighter. It was his thoughts. The takeaway here, don't tell people what you are going to get or do for them because then they expect you to deliver. Give them a surprise. It's much more memorable and impactful than doing what you've promised. Also, don't go overboard. If you borrow money to give someone a great surprise, after a while, while you are paying back the debt, you may be unhappy and even regret giving them the surprise. 2. Say no when you really don't want to. People respect those who speak their minds more so than someone who always agrees with their request or invitation. Because when you say no to others, people see how real you are, that you have priorities and can be honest about your feelings. Yes, saying the n-word might make your stomach flip, but if you can get past that feeling, you will start feeling good about yourself. Saying no shows that you can hold your ground and that you value your time. It also speaks to confidence because not a lot of people can refuse requests from others. Only those who know what they want and are honest enough to acknowledge they are occupied, irrespective of what their friends' feelings are. 3. Do something nice for a stranger. Hold the door if their hands are full. Warn them before they sit on a wet seat. Pick up the dropped cash. These are things most people won't do but will give respect if you do. Being kind and nice can make a person very attractive. You never know who is watching. But don't be nice because someone might be watching. If you do that, then you are not genuine and will stop once you have accomplished your agenda. 4. Leave your ego behind and learn from those who are better than you. You can complain all you want about how life sucks and keep asking yourself, why am I not as smart, rich, likable, successful, influential or as good looking as my better unequal? But at the end of the day, you are not helping yourself grow. You're not trying to become better. Take the time to study what makes others shine. Practice over and over again. Ask if you need to. Because if you want to be the best, you have to be willing to learn from the best. When I was young, I used to meet people who had traits I desired to ask them what they were doing differently. That inquisitiveness has saved me today. I have learned a lot from people. If you want to be better, be open-minded and ask a lot of questions. 5. Be curious about everything. It's fun talking with others, but the moment the conversation dies because no one has anything else to say is when you start getting bored with that person. Don't be that person, the one anxiously looking away while racking your brain for a good topic. If you want to save yourself from that situation, you gotta make people curious about you. The only way is if you're curious yourself. Learn how things work. Ask yourself why people behave the way they do. Read about what's happening in the world right now. Because when you have a dozen more things to say, we automatically think you're a smart and fascinating companion. In doing this, avoid crimes at all costs. Curiosity has both advantages and disadvantages. Trying hard drugs 
will not get you anywhere. 6. Stay calm when someone is angry at you. It's not a pleasant sight to see someone screaming angrily and lashing out destructively. And sometimes, we just can't help but lash back. Don't. Before you snap, take a minute to think about the whole situation and why you're feeling so angry. Maybe there was some miscommunication between you two and maybe it's best to stay calm and talk it out. This is probably the best solution to understanding people better and feeling more closely connected to them. It requires you to be the more mature one. The funny thing is that you will find people who will abuse you more than people who will support you on social media. Restraining yourself is the key to overcoming such situations. Fortunately, people find self-control very attractive. If you can resist punching someone who abused you in front of the world, it means you will be far more tolerant of your friends. Doing this can also make you look very mature. Imagine seeing someone who is yelled at, carrying out his activity and doing his work. This type of calm amid crisis is a rare quality people admire in other people. 7. Start conversations with someone new Most of us feel scared when we are away from our comfort groups, which makes it easier for people to see who is confident and who is not. For me, I would always count around for those who introduce themselves to others because I know they are the types who are completely comfortable in their own skin. Break out of your comfort zone and talk with somebody you've never met. You will instantly surprise them and walk away with great confidence. What do you have to lose? When speaking to them, be yourself. Don't try to sound like a particular type of person. People find such people really attractive. You give them hope that they do too and one day be like you. When you go for an event, try striking up a conversation with other people. A lot of people can often not do this. The more you do it, the better you become at it. It will make you appear very attractive. 8. Write a list of what you want to learn. It drives me insane every time someone tells me that they are bored and have no idea what to do or when they waste their time sleeping or watching TV all day. Yes, people will tell me just leave in the moment and have fun. But to be honest, that's a very short-term point of view. What makes you more attractive in the long run is getting smarter and learning new things every day. You can learn how to play the piano, play the drum or even a saxophone. The more things you can do, the more attractive you will be. What you learn does not have to be limited to musical instruments. You can learn how to write, how to speak in public and how to swim. Spend your time doing something productive. What you learn now will help you tomorrow. You will both be very attractive and very skilled. Imagine meeting a girl or a boy who can shoot an arrow, sprint, swim, write, sing and dance. Wouldn't you be amazed? I know I would be. I may even be a little jealous. Number 9. Saying thank you. It's simple, overused at times, but still can make a world of difference to someone's day. All it takes is a couple of seconds to think about and appreciate what you are given even if it's something small like a hug. Remember, thank others when you really mean it, but not to the point where you have to go overboard, otherwise it starts to lose its meaning. 10. Make time for yourself If there's one thing you can't recover in life, it's time. That's why people who are constantly busy doing things they like or can improve on end up becoming more successful than someone who treats their time as if it were merely a measly dollar. You can waste it in a flash, but it's something people use to build a life that is worth living. Remember, the most attractive thing about you has less to do with your face and body, but more with your heart and habits. It is important that you don't try to please people, that you remain authentic. The only way to do this is to spend time with yourself. It can be as little as 30 minutes of meditation every morning or as much as several hours in the pack watching the sunset and writing in your journal. Leave. There are so many beautiful things in life to explore. You have unlimited potential for happiness and when you are happy, you are more attractive to people. If you want to sing, sing. Don't always wonder what other people will think. As you continue to groom yourself, you will make more friends than you ever want.